ahead, regardless where you are on your spiritual path. They are here to help you, to love you, and to be of service. And as you begin your spiritual growth, reaching out for your spiritual knowledge, many times you will have doubts and wonder if you're going the right direction. Many times you'll have a problem trying to figure out how to relate it to your life and your lifestyle. But if you just accept it, leave it flow through you as you do the healing power, you will know how to blend it into your life, how to use it and when to use it. You'll also know and understand the benefits you derive from spiritual unfoldment. Because regardless of how hard some things seem to be, as in your world, you have a tendency to make us harder. And that is a human element. When we were in your world, we did exactly the same thing. It seems to be human nature itself that no matter how easy the situation is, you have a great knack for making it more difficult. And a lot of times it's merely through thinking and trying to figure out things. Where if you open up your mind and relax and trust in the Father, things will flow so much easier and smoother with greater understanding. It is good to question. It is good to ask. It is good to seek out knowledge. But sometimes we try too hard and put forth too much effort, and then we block our own progression. So one of the key words in spiritual development and spiritual unfoldment is to relax. Trust in your forces, trust your father, trust your loved ones, and learn to accept things with a little more grace, a little more simplicity. And as you do that, your spiritual knowledge and understanding will flow through in and about you with greater ease. And as you try to grasp your spiritual nature, it will become easier for you, and it won't be so difficult to sift it out and to understand the meaning of your spirituality. And many times, as you're progressing, as you're reaching out, it isn't hard to stray off the path. It isn't difficult to get discouraged, especially when you want to see someone or hear someone. And you think, oh, what's the use? Why bother? I never hear nothing. I never see nothing. You must remember, it's not going to be at your every whim because you're sitting there and saying over and over and over, I want to see so-and-so, I want to see so-and-so. That does not mean it's going to happen because you're blocking communication. You're trying too hard. You have yourself concentrating on seeing them. You have yourself tensed up. And that is why many of you, the only time you actually see, hear, or do anything is when you're in bed and sleeping. Because when you sleep, all bodily thoughts close down. Even a lot of your bodily functions close down. Your heart rate slows to practically nothing. Your nerves are at a standstill. Impulses being sent to the brain are very minimal. And that is why some people that are so capable are capable of being able to go to sleep and completely relax, totally relax, and as the astral moves out of the body, they can be presumed dead, but they're not dead. But they have learned how to let go and join us in our world and to put themselves in the Father's hands. And as you work, as you strive toward your spiritual goal, you are able to achieve these also. Slow heartbeat, hardly breathing, so on and so on. And it's nothing to be afraid of. But many times in your world that you start to relax, and as you begin to just let yourself go, Bring yourself back to reality by thinking, oh, I don't feel my heart beating, or oh, I'm hardly breathing. And that is where it makes it difficult to journey further into the land of spirituality. You have to trust in the Father. You have to know and understand. The more relaxed you become, all right, you don't hear your heart beat, all right, you don't know your breathing. You have to know within yourself that everything is all right because God is with you. You're still alive. Everything is fine. But being in the physical
physical body as a normal human tendency to react to that and bring yourself right back to where you were before you started this procedure. And so that makes it difficult just to relax and let go, especially when you have thoughts on your mind that you're concerned with, especially when you have things you have to get done today and do tomorrow, or you're worried about someone else, or you're going to try to have to figure out how to pay your bills. All these things interfere with your spiritual progression. If your loved ones, your forces, and the Father know and understand this. And so sometimes, maybe you go a few days that you don't pay much attention to your spiritual growth, your spiritual development. They do not get upset or angry. They know and understand you have other pressing problems to take care of. And perhaps you wander off the path for six months, six years, whatever the case may be. They're there helping you, waiting patiently for you to come back so they can continue on working with you. Because there is no such thing in our world as, oh, well, if you don't this, you don't that, we can't be bothered with you, we can't help you, we can't do nothing for you. Regardless of times, how useless it seems in your world, we do not give up. We do not call it useless. We work through eternity. And as you develop spiritually, as you depend more and more upon your spiritual self, your spiritual growth and understanding, you will begin to realize everything is limitless. There is no definite end to anything. This ends in your world, so to speak, but there's always something else there to take up where it left off. And so, you might say it's endless. And no matter how much money a person has, and they seem to have everything in the world, they do not have it all. And even though this closes in their life, there's always something else to open up. And it is the same with any individual in your world. This door closes, that door opens. It doesn't cease to be. It doesn't stop and never happen again. And that is the way with your spiritual development. You can shut the door, you can turn your back on it, you can denounce it, you can deny it. But there will come a time in your life when you will open your spiritual doors, reach out to the Father, cry unto Him, Help me, I am your child. And your forces and loved ones in the Father are there waiting exactly for those words and it can be over something very, very dire, or it can be over something that doesn't amount to anything. They do not care. They do not judge. They are waiting for the children to come home. And come home you must. If you're going to survive your world and ours, you only have one choice, and that is to turn and go to the Father. Otherwise, you will be like many others, here in our world. We know where they are. We know exactly where they are. But they don't know where they are. They don't know where they want to go. And they don't know what to do and how to do it. Because they're lost. They were so firmly entrenched in their own beliefs and ideas when they were in your world. And some of the unspeakable things some of them have done. And they refuse to accept. God's love. They refuse to accept His laws. They refuse to believe there is a God. Because they felt what they did, what they thought, and what they said, that was the only law of the land there was. And they refuse to progress. They refuse to learn. They refuse to believe. And so, yes, indeed, they are lost. And there is a place for them. They are put there, and there they must stay. And until they reach out and accept the Father and say, Father, here I am, take me, teach me, love me, they will stay right where they are. And it doesn't matter if they've been there a hundred years. It does not matter if they've been there a thousand years. They will go nowhere, do nothing. So it is essential. If you wish to learn, to progress, to understand, and to know your spiritual self, then you must reach out to the Father. You must thank Him. You must acknowledge you're His child. You must know 
but you were created in his image. And without him, you are nothing. And as soon as you discount that, deny it, then you are, as many others are today in your world, lost, going nowhere for no reason. And as you develop spiritually, you begin to feel and sense the love of the Father, your forces and loved ones. You'll begin to know instinctively when you're all alone in a dark corner, nobody around, nothing, it's just dark and just you. And you can feel the warmth and the love. And you know and understand there's someone there with you even though you see no one. Then you know your spiritual doors are opening. You know you are beginning to reach out for your spiritual understanding. It's not going to come overnight. It's not going to come in a month. It's not going to come in a year. Each of you must learn a little bit at a time, some a little quicker, some a little slower, some more, some less. It does not matter. The main point is you're reaching out to the Father. You're letting your spiritual light shine. You are the true spiritual being he intended for you to be because you are a child of God. And as you reach out, as you grow spiritually, you will understand more and more within yourself how to cope with your life, how to help others, what to do with the understanding you have acquired. But you also know that you're loved, you're full of love, you give love, you receive love, you are loved. Because you see, if you were not composed of love, if you weren't full of love, and you didn't shine love, you would disintegrate. There wouldn't be a you. And if you doubt that, look around you. Those that are on drugs, those that commit murder, those that do all kinds of terrible crimes, their love is there. But they altered it into hatred. They altered it into something else. They denied their love. And that is the consequences of denying it. And what good are they to themselves, to their fellow man? The good is there, but no one can see it. And what they have done is wrong. But there again, only they can answer. You cannot answer for them. You cannot be punished for them. You cannot be held accountable for what they have done. Because God's law says each and every one is accountable for their own self. Each and every one must answer for what they have done. And so they deny love. They deny the Father. And they commit these terrible crimes. And if they do not pay the price in your world, they will definitely pay the price to ours because nothing is left undone. Nothing is left half finished. And many people in your world think, oh, well, I'm here and I'm going to die in a few years, so I didn't do this, so I didn't do that. And this didn't get done, that didn't get done, so what? The big shock is when they enter into our world, their so what's are waiting on them. And their so what's get done before they can do anything else or think about anything else. So once you learn, understand, use, receive, and give out, as you develop spiritually, and the more you use your spirituality, and the more you try to achieve and understand the spiritual realm, and do all you can to learn all the knowledge that you can and to share it, then your way has become easier in your world than ours. And as you develop, never doubt for a moment. Your loved ones, your forces are there. You're never alone. The Father's with you. And the greatest desire, the greatest thing we wish to accomplish is to share your love and unfold you spiritually. And as you are doing that as of now, everyone here is delighted, we're happy, we're overjoyed. And if you can see the beauty and the joy that brings each and every one of us, even when you unfold spiritually just a little drop in the bucket, 
The only way I could describe it that you could understand it would be like someone walking up to you and saying, well, you just won a hundred million dollars. And even then, that would begin to explain the joy we feel as each and every one of you takes the next step on your spiritual path. We love you. We thank you. God bless you.